Beverly. You're welcome back, oh, cows. And congratulations, we did it. Woo! The one, the only, the legend, Mez has done it. Look at this. Actually, can I have it two inches higher? Yeah. <laughs> he actually said yes. I thought the words F and O were going to go together. Should we hang a gate? It snaps off, delete. <laughs> we in. Look at that! Mez has absolutely smashed it. That is a, that is a good looking gate. Mez has done something which is mental. What have you done, Mez? Replaced new. <laughs> Replaced new. The unspeakable. Look at it all. Look at them. Nothing wrong with them. I need a little bit of a bend. And he's put freshings on. It's funny. We were talking about this the other day or before. That so they're about three quid each, and I was umming and ahhing to change them or not. So it's six quid, and then you've spent X, Y, and Z of everything. Is it going to fit? This is Hopefully. a big question. How exciting is that? It is very exciting because this is the footbath gate which the cows are going to go through. So we'll go to there, and then there is where the footbath is going to go. And what Mez has done, you can see it's doing it perfectly. So it's always wanting to go that way. I asked, could we do that? And they set it so it does that. So it sounds, sounds down. So when you're scraping up and you put the gate there, it doesn't always force back. You don't need to tie it back or anything. So it's just kind of lent it that way. So it was always all there. What a man. And he's going to fix something else for me as well. Before Monday? Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Panel moving time. He only came for a milkshake. <laughs> and I was showing Dan. I was like, oh, look at the new yard, because Dan used to milk here before even me. Dan is my cousin. Hey, Jim, to come the, the other cousin. And uh, we're like, just see them taken down. <laughs> Good shot. Four panel in, and you'll see there's a little D there. And the reason for that is the new concrete has a bit more of a taper off than the old stuff did, um, which is fine. But it's just left that, which is annoying. And the next thing is, we've already taken this off, and I'm just going to take that one and take this bar because that's where we want the next panel going. Is it one? Is the hot water coming in we're just tidying up this morning i don't know where this video is going to be so good morning everyone if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button ring the little bell get notifications of my videos every tuesday friday and sometimes do a sunday video I keep dragging out, yeah? Yeah. 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 we all we all working that's working there we go so it is all getting dragged to here so it should fill this one first isn't it yeah there we go okay yeah, going in there now oh, it's exciting time sam is back kenny's back Hi. i'm just 
finished the panels here where we had that gap there. I put some like thick cement, cement and sand, some water more than anything. And, and then I filled this gap here we had here. Drilled them to do rightfully or wrongfully. Should have showed you, but I'm in a bit of a rush this morning. I thought we could have got in today, but it looks like we'll be in tomorrow. Luke's just working on the last bit of matting we're going to put there. And now I'm just going to seal the ends up. I need some more of these the channels because they're actually sat on the ground. I just want to seal them up, just make sure no water and muck goes down on the other side. Try and keep that side clean is the plan. All working, all going forward. Chambers again full. this had a slight problem we don't need to know about glued all this in that's all glued down so i'm talking to the people luke's just finishing that that's been glued in and concreted in where it needs to be because the gaps are just too big i could have actually maybe glued it it's better than i thought it's not pretty but it's doing the job It's because it's echoing, there's nothing in here. Is that your first ration of cake? Yeah. How many? Uh, that's 10 portions, so it should be around a kilogram. Oh, ten oh, because it portions it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's supposed to be like 100, ki 100 grams per portion, so. Ah, okay, yeah, and then it'll portion it all the way through the milk and it won't just feed them at once, will it? So yeah, it's gonna be class. We'll get all this, we're gonna get all sorted out, and me and Ken tomorrow, right. we're gonna smash it and show you everything we've done with this part and how we've done it. It's just, we are meant to be in it this afternoon. <laughs> Three o'clock. And it's currently 20 past four. Damn yeah. it. See, no cows. No cows. <laughs> Danger never take a day off. Beautiful. That'll do, won't it? There we go. Two cuts, three steels, one not in use. Happy days. Nope, don't need any of that. I'll do. So we're with Ken out and he's got a screen, he's got some crazy things. You can hear the parlour. That's the parlour going. Put the sensor in line with the pulsation. Right. Which is this bit here. So basically now this machine can read what the pulsator is doing so we know whether it's safe for milking. So basically why would it not be safe? Too high or too low? Your milking phases and your resting phases are too short or too long. Vacuum's too high, which will cause seat end damage. So that's the graph. Yeah. I think so that, that gives you a graph of A side and then the graph on the B side. And then this gives you the actual figures. Well, that's your KPA, so that's what it, it's running at. This is your vacuum. Pulsation rate, 62 beats per minute. You happy with that? Yeah, that's cool. A and B, 60, well, just short 64. Rest phase is 22. Your maximum milk flow is at 44. 
So does that mean 44 litres an hour? No, a that's the percentage of when in like a, because it's 62 beats a second, yeah. it's roughly a beat per second, so that's the percentage of the second that's actually maximum milk flow. And then that's... It's going over your head, it's going over mine as well. But that's the the maximum on your rest phase, so when the milk flows at its slowest and your right. vacuum levels at its lowest. And that's when it says, okay, that milk's done now, we're going to pull off. It's quite a dynamic milk cycle that you've got on here, so that's basically what it's telling me. And if any of these figures were, say, that's 19, that's 18 point now, but say that was 19 and that was 10, yeah, yeah. you know there's an initial sure. on one side of your pulse here. But they're 0.1 a difference. Oh, it's very, nothing. very little, very little. So that's pretty much how they're doing. And you're happy? Every sound a duffer, yeah. That'll do, that's what we want to hear. And every single one gets checked. I was just saying to Ken, there's only 14 here. Imagine doing a 72 rotary. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so the two gaps I need to do now is I need to block this gap so the cows don't go up there when they go in the return. And I need to block that gap there. That's a six foot gap. Luke's looking for a uh, gate for me. Fingers crossed. Dad's used a pallet in somewhere where it's one of those where you just accept it. It's life. <laughs> Up, 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 up. Ooh, down, down. Oh, look at that. You got some of it? Put Jen in there. Yeah. I'll take my string off. Yeah. Jana's turned up and put her feminine, fen, 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 feminine, feminine touch on it. You got welcome back, cows. And congratulations, we did it. Woo! <laughs> uh, we were meant to start about. Why have we put these though? Because we don't want to scare the cows. No. I didn't know if they'd hang them here. No, no. I was just thinking, do you not think we should have a gate here? Just in case. Well, no, so you can help funnel them a bit. But they should go in, shouldn't they? I think they should go in. But if we need a spare gate, we're better getting one now. Yeah, we'll give them less room for this gate, don't they? Because they will. They've ballooned up. I hope they don't pop on that. Oh, well. Happy At least days. you've seen them. So that is it. The parlor is completely to a degree. It's milkable. We're finished. We're done. You would have just seen Joanna as well. She dropped off some balloons, but she got a midwife appointment at four o'clock. I know I'm missing a midwife appointment. We're a little bit behind. We wanted to start milking about three. It's 20 past four, just like the bale, you know. Won't be excited if we weren't behind. I think they'll be okay. Mark's here as well. He said he would be here. I'm actually not going to milk the first cow in this video. It's going to be the next video. We're going to do the full milking and milk our cows in the new parlor. It's very, very exciting. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you catch the next video. It's going to be class, hopefully. I've got a feeling it's going to be struggle. It's going to be some hard work. We're going to be pushing cows around because they're just not going to be used to getting in here to start with, but they will. They will get in here. We were going to do a bit of an overview with Ken of how to do it, um, but you would have seen that after the cows have been in because we're just going to do it because we really need to get in it's 20 past four don't want to stop everyone else as well um, but we're in we've washed down the team have worked really really hard to get here we are finally in it right let's get milk some cows this is going so much better than the bale did